Hey everybody, um, it is Ashley, the Urge Warriors here, and I am checking in today, um, cause I had a really tough time this morning with some binge urges, and I gave into a few of them. Um, the, the, it did not result um, in the quantity of food that is typical of a binge, but it was definitely um, overeating. It felt compulsive, it felt out of control, and um, it's important for me to come here and be honest about this because the more I ignore it, the more I stay isolated about it, uh, the worse it will get. Um, so thank you for you know allowing me this space to come and uh, discuss my progress and you know my um, my my pitfalls. Uh, it's really important. I think it's important for all people in the recovery. We need to end the stigma and uh, and shame around this. And this is how we do it by uh, by sharing our stories. So the two themes of my video today are pausing and internalized fat phobia, which I will explain what that is for those of you who are unfamiliar. Now, uh, and and they're not specifically related, but two things on my mind today for recovery, so I'm going ahead and sharing it. So pausing, part of, part of successfully managing urges, um, not just to binge eat, but for any addictive behavior, is to have the ability to pause and notice when they are arriving. Um, so you don't just go ahead and act on it when out without thinking. And as I mentioned yesterday, I've been really busy um, lately, all with projects that I'm passionate about. Um, the, I guess, downfall of that is that um, recovery um, is no longer like on the forefront of my mind. Um, and an, and an unintended consequence of that is that these urges have a greater likelihood of sneaking up on me, you know, because I don't have like in the in, in the forefront of my mind, um, I, I don't have the antenna up, right, of um, of being mindful towards these these urges. Um, and, and often having that antenna up requires a pause. It requires if an urge is coming up in the moment to say, okay, slow down, let's remember what this is, an urge, nothing, nothing more. Um, it's very, very hard to have that antenna go up if I'm just going, 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 and I'm not pausing and recognizing, okay, um, that's an external threat, right? Separating it from me, not part of me. So bottom line, I need to get better at um, pausing. So I am uh, taking this on one day at a time, and after I do this video, I'm going to uh, meditate a little bit to get my pause on. Uh, that is a P-A-U-S-E as opposed to P-A-W-S, although sometimes I'd love to have pause and be a cat. Anyway, uh, so that is just a little bit about the importance of pausing, hitting the pause button um, in recovery, which I'm going to do right after this video. In addition, um, I would like to talk a little bit about internalized fat phobia. Um, so this was really present in the early days of my, um, my eating disorder. Um, it's what starts out a lot of us, whether our problems are, you know, under eating, overeating, a little bit of both, um, because our society puts a lot of pressure um, on us to have a certain body and sends us messages we get when we're really young that being fat is like the worst thing ever. And if you're fat, nobody will ever love you and you'll have you'll have trouble getting jobs and you'll have trouble moving around and your skin will sag. And but like all of these messages about, you know, if we're fat, that's like the worst thing that could happen to us. Um, you know, and that any potential we have to be happy in any other of our lives will be ruined if, if we are fat. And the way my internalized fat phobia works is that um, I think that if I am fat specifically, this is what my internalized fat phobia parasite tells me, if I'm fat specifically, I have so many other characters that are undesirable that being fat will just put me over the edge and make me um, just this like terminally miserable, undesirable human being. Um, now the intellectual and the mature part of me knows that's not true. Um, but what this is telling me is this is a wound in me. This is a cultural and emotional wound that still hasn't healed and I have to um, look at it a little bit. 
Um, so that's something that I just want to keep in mind. And I really want to make like, like fat phobia slang part of my recovery too, because it's not, it's not helpful. You know, anything derogatory about my body or my self-worth is like toxic for me right now. It's like right up there with this parasite. So I just want to call that out when I see it. And remember when either the fat phobia slayer, the binge cookie monster, or any of those like parasites kick up to really um, be mindful and allow myself to pause. I have to let myself pause. So often I tell myself, um, well, you, 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 you can't stop to focus on this and do something else um, because of this, because of that. There's a million and one reasons um, to not pause and just keep going on autopilot um, and binge. Um, oftentimes it feels like the easier thing to do in the moment. And what's hard about this is oftentimes it is, oftentimes it is in those moments, the choice that requires the least amount of effort. So, um, you know, a lot of this journey is just figuring out how to kind of map balance and manage the rest of my life so I have the energy, the knowledge, and the motivation, you know, in that moment to do something different when the urge hits. So uh, that's my share for today. Thanks for listening. I will talk to everybody soon. Um, and have a great Motivation Monday. Thank you.